Wow, look at my amazingly handcrafted 10 out of 10 house. I spent a good amount of time on that, but now that I have shelter, I need food. Now I could easily build a pig, sheep, or cow pen and unalive the animals whenever I need food, but that would be too easy. But you know what? Let me build a pen for all those animals while I'm on the subject. Oh yeah, I need wheat to lure the sheep and cows in my pen. And now we have some nice flat terrain for the wheat farm. Ah, oh, there's a wandering trader over there. Eh, nothing too crazy, but I'm not sure if I have five emeralds for a nautilus shell. Wow, all right, we're going to get an Nautilus shell then. Uh, who knows, we might have to do some underwater building in the future. All right, one Nautilus shell please, and back to the farm. So far, this isn't that bad. Uh, I want to make this a lot more efficient in the future, but it'll do for now. All right, now that that's completed, let me tell you what the plan is for this video. So in this episode, I'm going to build an automatic cooked chicken farm. That's right, this farm will automatically give me cooked chicken and lots of it because I'm not only going to build one of these, I'm going to build 20. That's honestly a huge thing to do on only episode 2, but I've already said it out loud so I can't back out of it now. The next thing I need to do is find a spot to put my chicken factory. And I'll have to do some mining because I will need a good amount of redstone for the wiring, iron for the hoppers, uh, quartz for the redstone comparators but I don't even have a nether portal yet. I did find diamonds in the last episode, however, so I'll put them to good use and get a portal set up. And I do want to go ahead and fill this pen up with a bunch of animals. Whoa, that's a village. And it's right next to my house. I'm gonna run away from the village because I don't want those chunks to be loaded and zombies to spawn at night and kill all my villagers, so yeah. Okay, what? There's literally a village there and a village over there. They're so close to each other, and my house is in the middle. I'm just gonna grab these cows real quick and be on my way. And for the pigs, I'm gonna head to this village over here and get some carrots. Don't mind me, just stealing your food supply. And let's get out of here because I don't want mobs spawning here. All right, so now that I have all these animals, the last one I need are chickens, and they're going to go right here so I can get a ton of eggs for our main goal, the cooked chicken farm. Oh, what? They found my home, and they're taking out my guy over there. Surely that won't be a problem for me, right? Finally found some chickens. And I'm gonna AFK here for a bit and see how many eggs I get from this. All right, it's been about 50 minutes and let's see what we have. Eh, not bad, but let's add some more. And while I'm still waiting, I figured I would search for a lava lake because we will need obsidian to get to the nether to finish the farm. Okay, so I still need a ton of eggs to fill up 20 chambers uh, that I'm going to make, but I haven't even created the area where I want my food farm to be. And this area right here looks like the perfect place to build it. Uh, I kind of want it to look like a secret futuristic lab experiment going on with chicken chambers on both sides of the walls and all the food leading to one main chest. So let's get to destroying some of this mountain. All right, after some hard strenuous activity, I have the outline of this chicken farm set up. And as you can see, you walk through this mountain and you're in this long hall where I have these 20 dirt blocks set up as sort of markers to let me know where I want the chicken chambers. Uh, they will all be viewable through glass, so you'll get to see the live chickens dying. That's pretty cool. But like I said earlier, I want this area to have a lot of quartz blocks and glowstone maybe. I think later I want to change the glowstone out for sea lanterns because you know I can't get sea lanterns yet. And then at the end of this haul I'm thinking about making a giant chicken statue and having the main chest where the food all ends up in front of the chicken statue. 
Uh, I don't know, it sounds pretty cool to me, but uh, back to the grind. So there's a couple things that make this world pretty great and I'm adding another to the list right now because I went down in the mine shaft I found last episode to get some string. I needed a lot of string to make all the dispensers for the farm and while I was destroying the cobwebs I came across a cave spider spawner. Nothing too unique but literally right next to it, uh, actually kind of underneath it, uh, another cave spider spawner. So this might be the project for the next video. I do need an XP farm and I imagine I'll need lots of string in the future, so it's a win-win. But yet again, just like many of the other things I've found in this world, this is directly under my house. Pretty insane. And just like that, my friends, we are 25% of the way done. We have five chambers laid out here. I just need to add the chickens to them. But man, this has been a long project to only be 25% of the way done. And that's just with the chickens. I still need to make the place look nice. Add quartz, add the chest, all the hoppers. Oh man, this is gonna take a while. We are now at 50% of the way done. All right, and just like that, I have 15 of these chambers done. That is 75% of the way. Uh, obviously, I don't have chickens in all of them. I need to get the max amount of entities in each, which I believe is 24 chickens. So I need 24 chickens in each pod. I'm going to have 20 pods. So that is 480 chickens. I'm going to have 500 chickens inside of this area producing cooked chicken so this is probably going to be my main food source for the rest of this world i can't imagine it not be how much chicken i'm going to get but yeah We are now officially 100% done with the creation of all 20 chicken chambers. That's the tough part over with in my opinion. Now we just have to link all the chambers together to funnel into one chest and obviously make this place a little cooler. Uh, I also thought I may as well show you all how this automatic chicken farm works. So let's get to it. All right, so it's a super simple design. Uh, basically, I'm going to have a bunch of hoppers that are connecting into one main chest like this. And so there's going to be a chicken chamber here. There's going to be two things of hoppers here, another chicken chamber here, you know, two things of hoppers here, another chicken chamber here, right? So on all of these areas where I want the chicken chamber to be, there's going to be a hopper. Basically how this works is a block is placed. There's two dispensers like that. And then a hopper on the back of this one, a little piece of carpet right there, a block behind the hopper with a comparator facing that way and turned on. Uh, up here above the comparator, an observer is placed and then some more blocks around the whole thing. Uh, I use the eggs to get all the chickens in here. Basically what happens after I get 24 chickens and I know I have 24 chickens in because when the 25th chicken is added, a chicken will start to die due to entity cramming. So when the chickens start to die, I know I have the max amount that can possibly fit in there. I place an observer that way, destroy all of these blocks, place a piece of redstone there and there, place that right there, do a slab there. So basically how this works, whenever a chicken lays an egg, it goes through this hopper, which goes into here. It sends a signal to this, which gets updated, sends a signal to this, the redstone gets powered, sends a signal to this, this redstone gets powered, and it flows lava down so the chickens automatically come out this way. And they are perfectly safe from this lava because of the slab. And then when they grow up into an adult, they die, and that's how we get the cooked chicken. 
and the cooked chicken falls into this hopper down here which falls into my big system that is eventually going to lead to a big chest that's the science behind it i need to mine a lot more quartz in order for this room to look nicer i didn't really think it would take so much quartz for this room to look how i want so i gotta make a sugar cane farm to make bookshelves so that I can get an enchantment table and hopefully get a fortune pickaxe. Oh, there we go. This is gonna make the process way less of a hassle. And I won't bore you with yet another mining montage. The hallway is done. Uh, this hall took about 15 hours from the start up until now. Of course, most of that time was spent collecting materials rather than actually building the area. It also took an absurd amount of time to get 24 chickens in each of these chambers. I spent way too much time collecting eggs and spamming my right click button. So I just have this one room left and I'm completely done with this project. And yes, I still live in a dirt house. I will change that eventually, but I also wanted to mention in the last video, I talked about the fact there could possibly be an ancient city directly under my house, in which I found out while collecting materials that yes, there is an ancient city under my house. And it's actually the first time I've ever seen one in this game, so that's pretty cool. Now, I just need to figure out how to make this room look good. I'm gonna build a quick pattern here and actually that looks horrible i'm gonna try a different pattern and hopefully this sticks out more from the rest of my build i don't want this room to be as full of quartz as the main hall and that actually fits this room pretty well i'm thinking this sort of log checkered style roof would look awesome too and just like that this room actually looks incredible so there you have it that's how i managed to build 20 chicken farms that move the drops into one main chest under a giant chicken statue in hardcore minecraft thank you all so much for watching like and subscribe and goodbye